Thank you, George. I'm Guillermo Ayuso from CFC, and I'm going to talk about Rose Vigera Kennedy in New Ross. New Ross is located between Waterford and Westford in the, in the south of Ireland. The new bridge is located on the N25 New Ross bypass. This, this bypass avoids crossing New Ross and solve the traffic jams that occur on the old bridge. Here you can see the old bridge in New, in new Ross. And here is the location of the new of the bridge, obviously before the construction. The design resulted from a tender solution for which an informative study and an environmental impact study have been carried out. Four solutions were presented, choosing the Extradus Bridge. It was mandatory to maintain part of the main characteristics of the tender solution, such as the main spans and Extradus configuration. The position and height of the towers were not changed to maintain the validity of the studies. The base solution has the characteristics shown in this slide, two main spans of 230 meters long, three pylons with different heights, and stake cables were situated in three planes. In the solution, there were fixed conditions which could not be changed, like main spans, navigational channel, tower height, but we could modify other features to optimize the bridge. These were pylon width, number of cables, planes, cross section, construction sequence. One of the variables that we changed was the transverse section. The, the inclined webs in the original solution were changed by ver for vertical ones to improve, improve the um, structural behavior. Another constraint was that the cross section should be trapezoidal. This feature invalidated the possibility to put ribs or props for the wing, lateral wings. The final solution adopted was to put uh, add, to add precast plan, panels. These precast panels were not longitudinally connected and were not considered as resistant part of the section. Between panels, there is a gap to ensure that there are no collisions between them. As per the approved design, the bridge has a length of 887 meters in nine spans, with two main spans of 230 meters, side spans of 95 meters, and the rest of the spans between 36 and 70 meters. The height of the towers, which was set in the base solution, is 27 meters for the pier four and 16 meters for piers three and five. These values assume height span ratios of one to 8.5 and 1 to 14. 14. This configuration apparently do not match the typical values of extra loose bridges, but considering that the towers have different heights, the affected spans that should be assigned to each tower are 290 meters for pier 4 and 170 meters for piers 3 and 5. With these values, the tower height span ratios is 1 to 10. This which are already expected for this type of structure. The deck consists of a box girder eight meter wide with wings around seven meter long that are supported by the precast panels. The depth of the deck is constant, except in the towers, and to establish the, this depth, we, uh, we consider the span the extra zone and the approaches spans. In this case, the depth was uh, 3.5 meters. In the towers, the depth is increased up to 6.5 meters on piers 3 and 5, and up to 8.5 meters in pier 4. Here we can see the main changes that were made in the project. Finally, we put only one plane of, cable, of cables. In the project, there were several conditions that have had a, a great influence. Towers at different heights. Uh, most of the bridge has a 5% slope. This means that with the arrangement of the anchors on the deck, the inclination of the cables is different, is not the same on both sides. This leads to a lack of symmetry in the vertical load. In the project, the Eurocodes were applied together with a um, national annexes. In the case of Eurocode, like both 
a nine kilo, like lots and nine kilometer per square meter lane is provided and, and the rest of the lanes are 2.5 kilometer per square meter. While the national iris, right, while the iris national annex indicates that 5.5 kilometer per square meter must be considered in lanes. This represents an increase of 50% in loads. Due to the fact that the cable system is located in the axis of the bridge, it is necessary to refer them to the webs by means of an, internet, an internal triangulation. This triangulation is materialized with the steel profiles. Here you can see the structural scheme of, in the zone of the cables. There is the struts resist the vertical component, while the horizontal component is resisted in the upper slab with a mechanism of compression and tension force. To resist the transverse tension, pre-stress has been applied. Here you can see the area where the transverse pre-stress is available, considering the longitudinal occupation of the cable. Additional studies were developed during the project, like wind tunnel, fire analysis, and shipping path on Pier 3. The construction of the bridge has been carried out as shown in this slide. The spans between one, abandonment one and pier three and pier five to abandonment two were, con were constructed with false board. And the method used in the main spans were cantilever construction. In this case, four for, for, for travelers were used to build these spans. Also, two auxiliary piers set, were set up in spans three and six, and a push pull probe were placed near pier four. This element could could resist compression and tension. The construction of the deck in approach spans was divided into parts. One was the main box, and when force work was, in, was removed, winds were built with a wind traveler. Here you can see the cantilever in pier, in pier 4 with the push pull drop. This slide represents the, the cantilever cycle that we, uh, we made. This is a little bit complex, but it's the first of all is stressing of cantilever pre-stress in segment N minus one uh, for travel movement for segment N, bottom slab and west we are fixing, internal props and for tube for the main cable, 50% of the main cable in segment N minus N minus two, installation of precast panels, top slab, transversal postation and, and rebar fixing, stressing of transversal pre-stress in segment N minus two and part of N minus one. 100% stressing of cable in segment N minus two, and finally casting segment N. Now I will see you some different pictures during the construction of the bridge. Here is near to close. Here is when we are closing the, the main span. And now there are pictures of the bridge once finished.